I forgot I had my mic turned off in XSplit because of using it to record some stuff for editing. But, like I was trying to say, I am going to be doing two tournaments tonight. I will be doing the Pika Cup and the Prime Cup. I'm going to start with the Pika Cup because otherwise it's just going to be more of Pokemon... Yeah, Jim Weir Castle, you know what I mean. But uh, my teams are the same. It's just my names are different because, you know, lower level, you know, technically different Pokemon might as well give them a different name, you know? Plus, I like having fun with names. But, like I was trying to say when I got started, uh, you'll notice that, like, all but one of my... Well, actually, no. By normal rules of red, blue, and yellow, this entire team, as their species, is illegal. I would only be able to have Ivysaur, Charmeleon, wouldn't even be able to have a Staryu. I would have a Diglett. Eevee is level 25 when you get it. And you can only have level 20, I think, Dratini. But because of, you know, people not realizing when they were making the game that, uh, you know, cheats exist and, you know, the glitchy fucking mess that Red and Blue was, it's possible to get all of these. And by tradebacks, you know, uh, Cosmos, well, Cosmos here is available as, you know, breeding, Sparky as breeding, and a level 18 uh, Doug Trio is actually possible in yellow. But let's go with Cosmos, Butts, and Bahamut. In battle number one. And this is not going to end well for Ikani. Because I'm using one of the most overpowered Pokemon in the game. There's actually two only outright bans in this tournament, and they are Mew and Mewtwo. Mewtwo in zero of his appearances anywhere in the series has been legal at for the level of this tournament. You, I don't think you ever find it any lower than level 70. And of course, Mew is available at level one. With some rare candy fuckery, you know, after using the glitch, you can get him. And this fight is just under surprise to no one. You know, pitifully easy. trying to not rely on Cosmos so much, just because, you know, he's gonna kind of break this fucking tournament. Not that the rest of the party's any better, what with the questionable legality of the team. Uh, let's go with Audrey Jr., Skava, and Butts. You'll notice that my uh, Doug Trios are typically named after memes, just because. And of course, yet another fucking bad matchup when I use Audrey. Venusaur. Just remember the one time I used it in Jim Weir Castle and he got wrecked? Oh, what the fuck? First turn, wake? Fucking bullshit. Fuck it. Body slam. Oh boy, this is gonna be... A slow going fight. And... Sky attack is gonna hurt. There's no way around it. 
Never mind. I'll just get a critical hit and, you know, do that extra two fucking damage. Okay. And actually, in this tournament, having, you know, two HP is actually a pretty big deal. What with the fact that it's a large percentage of your fucking HP? As opposed to, you know, sub one. Yeah, that critical hit probably wasn't necessary. See ya! <laughs> What's War Total gonna do to me? I mean, sure, it could be carrying Ice Beam or Blizzard, but I don't think it's gonna survive a Razor Leaf. What's the threshold for guaranteed critical hit with uh, high crit moves in Gen 1? I thought it was like 130 or something. I think Audrey's only got like maybe 50 speed. Oh wait, I think it's comparison to speeds. It has to be a certain threshold. I think it's a percentage or something? 64? Damn. Uh, speed of 45. Surprising no one's Zappy is the fastest on my team. Speaking of, uh, did I call him Zappy? Oops. Sparky. Zappy's the name of my level 100. Or is it really literally just the base stat of the speed? That seems a little unfair. I'm just mowing down this. Well, that's retarded. Why would they design the game like that? That's like really dumb. And the thing is, if you get a critical hit, like I said during Gym Leader Tower, your stat bonuses are fucking ignored. So it's like, if you've got, like, Slash, don't bother using Sword Stance. It doesn't do you any fucking good. And I'm just gonna be wrecking these guys. Is it even possible to have a, a slow pro at level 17 at any point in the series? Because if it's not, then I don't feel bad about having my questionably legal team. Actually, is it possible to have any of those three? What the fuck? The computers are cheating bastards, so fuck it, I'm gonna be one too. Tentacles technically possible, I think. Nido King is. Uh, the Duck Trio is actually 100% legal as of yellow. Huh. Actually, no. Let's not. Uh, let's go with Skava, Bahamut, and Butts. Look at that nice deep red. I love how the only thing it complains about being illegal on Skada's set is is a flamethrower, which isn't possible until level 30. And I'm probably gonna take some heavy damage here. Mm, 
a pad. Oh, where was that critical hit first time, Scott? Now, come on. Uh, what's Ninetales going to do to me? Other than, uh, you know, fold. Ooh. Actually took that really well. I want my totally superficial continue, so, uh, get in there, Bahamut. Might as well use the entire team, you know? Really? Two for two on the paralysis? It's only a 9% chance of happening. What the fuck? And again, you know, well, wing attack's technically illegal. Even by a Gen 2 standard, because it doesn't learn until level 55, but as stated, I don't give a fuck. Try for the hypnosis right away. And I don't think it's gonna be carrying an ice attack, because I don't think it can learn ice beam. Psychic might hurt. It's not bad, 19 damage. Wait, sand attack is illegal? What? Somewhat of a uh, close match. Uh, not really. It's more known for its defense. Because most drowsies I see nowadays in the forest meta are uh, bulky. seen combat yet. I think everyone has. Yeah, because he used all three last fight. I led with Audrey Jr., Sparky, and Cosmos. So, I don't think there's any shame in, uh... using Cosmos a lot. I know I said I wasn't going to, but... I won't make him my lead. How about that? Because if I lead with him, he's definitely going to just fucking sweep. Huh. Actually seeing some good moves here. Not great moves. I mean, because it's not like... Oh, wow. Wow, it took that really well. Shit. 23 damage. Thank you. 
Spackets an actual pretty fucking uh pretty good. Damn. Wow, in one turn we traded status elements. Holy shit. Well, let's see. Ooh, Scott is still alive. I will be switching now. Switch to is Cosmos because that fucking Golduck. Because it's gonna use Surf or something, and I can't switch butts into Surf. I fucking called that. Not. Let's go for a Thunderbolt here. Yep, see ya, Cosmos. Looks like it won't be getting eight continues. Or should I say seven, because the, eight, the final really doesn't matter. And Scott is gone. 4 HP, paralyzed, against something that's weak to, there's really no contest. Please do 12 damage, butts. Good deal. Good deal. I guess if I had sacked someone, it would have been, you know, Mr. OP. Mr. Fix, huh? Pretty sure that's not the dude's actual name. Let's lead with Butts this time. Because Earthquake takes out four of his team. Send in Scott and Cosmos as well. What the hell? Rotation! Oh no, it didn't switch. Damn. Probably because they realized that there's no one on their team that can take an earthquake. There might be one that can take it, but no one's going to appreciate it. Did make it to round two of Stadium One. 
just never beat anything in round two. Except for the Prime Cup, because, you know, Prime Cup is easy mode. Oh, fuck you! Shit. Who's gonna fucking appreciate an ice beam? Oh, yeah, it is a Maxwell Porygon, isn't it? I can see how that could be a pain in the ass, but I'm gonna get a clean three hit kill on him, so. Motherfucker! I hate paralysis, but I can deal with it. I'd rather be Thunder Wave than Thunderbolt, just saying. And then he pulls out this amateur shit. Thunderwave, Ice Beam, Psychic, what's its fourth move? Probably Fire Blast or something. Or Try Attack. Mution! Well, it does look like Mucus, so I guess that actually... That almost doubles as a clever name, let's put it that way. Also, I know for a fact it's illegal to have a level 15 level. Yeah, we're pretty much on even playing fields having a minus one special. Well, I've already lost butt, so it doesn't matter if I lose Cosmos here. I mean, I'd rather not, but if it can't be avoided, I, it can't be avoided. See ya! meeting with some resistance and I kinda like it. Dang. Oh boy. Yeah, this is definitely a job for Cosmos. There's no way around it. Send in Skada and Bahamut. Hmm, we're getting some actual tense music here. And before switch to ride on. No! Dang. Oh, jeez, this is gonna hurt. No, oh, but I'm still in it. See you, Gyarados. I am the king of the water types. Get your shit out of here. Okay, conversion makes sense, I guess. Fabulous! Ho 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 ho. Oh shit. Might as well go for a stab move. Since I know I'm just gonna eat a thunderbolt. Did more than I expected. And that was not what I expected. Let's send it behind it. Fuck it, what's the worst that can happen? Man. 
Mega Flare, motherfucker! How did they know the Rhybone was coming? The 27 levels too low, right on. Well, at least tells me I have speed advantage. Let's go for Ice Beam here. Cosmos is already down. And I don't think I'm gonna need four continues for the finale. So. Oh, wow! Actually, the, uh... The expecting to switch into butts would have made sense. I don't know was really good in first gen. But... Submission... Just for the sake of it. I could have used Flamethrower and still gotten the two damage. And then I remembered, oh yeah, recoil doesn't get calculated if you kill. Alright, given the resistance I've had in the second half of this tournament, I'm gonna have to actually make conscious good choices for the f fucking final here. Oh! Oh! Oh, this team is kind of gross. The Dragonair is going to be a pain in the ass. The Alkazam is going to be a pain in the ass. The Kangaskhan's a pain in the ass. And the Starmie is going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, fuck. Cosmos is a must. Because ice, psychic, water, <laughs> electric, shit. He's got an answer for four fucking shitheads on his team. Uh, let's go with Audrey for Alakazam and Skada for um, Kangaskhan. If he's got Thunder Wave, he probably doesn't have Thunder Bolt. I think they did that as a conscious decision to, you know, make it a little more balanced. But we already know who his 20 is, so we don't have to worry about, uh... Alkazam. And I could have swore Dragon Rage was, in was illegal in this tournament. What is this horse shit? Try to put him to sleep. Good. What the fuck? Both times I've used it, it's been a first turn wake. This is bullshit. Stay asleep, dickhead. 
go for leech seed here, just so I can get some residual recovery here. And then, uh, body slam all the things? I think so. Shit! Oh, boy. I can't compete with fucking Dragon Rage! I can get a paralysis here. And I don't mean a full paralysis on my side. Dragon Rage is not legal in this tournament! Alright, good. Mitigates that a little bit. Almost there. Scott is all we got left. about fucking rock slide but I do have fly so at least this is before well no I saying at least this is before it was type shifted to be properly fighting type means I don't fucking take half damage from it yeah. Oh, wow, that... Wow. That was a critical hit Car fucking karate chop, and it didn't do shit. See ya! with some shit. Hmm. Wow, Chop was the only thing it could have used on me. Damn. Does 
doesn't even say anything about it there. Huh. Anyway, on with the prime up. Oh, great. It's more of this shit. Let's go with Gorong, Jem, and Dickmo. And yes, this is the exact same team from Gym Leader Ca uh, Castle. Pokeball is going to be a fucking joke. This is round two. It's supposed to be difficult. I can probably get away with keeping Gorong in. Oh wow, that didn't do anything. Neither did that. Huh. Interesting. Pika Pika Cup does have higher thresholds. I happen to rem I happen to know that the uh, little cup in Stadium 2 does ban those moves because of level 5. You know, the average fucking HP is like 20. I've seen as low as like 17, I've seen as high as 23. Barring Chansey who has like 50. And no one Jim comes in and fucking mops the place up. Oh yeah. Well, I happen to know that the um, Machamp was legal because of the trade in yellow. Handicap myself in the sense that these fights aren't going to give me any difficulty. Might as well uh, use suboptimal fucking Pokemon. Because Jam could easily take on every single one of these fights. Oh, what? Nidoran, prepare to have your shit wrecked, son. Feels like, um, the last tournament's finale, right uh, all over again. And this guy has a focus energy strategy, apparently. At least focus energy works properly in stadium. Oh, shit! We do have a rock slide here. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Never mind. Gorong took that way better than I figured he would. Roxlide's not gonna do anything. Let's 
see ya. Coupon. We'll be switching to a dress over here. What's the worst this Cubone's gonna do to me? I mean, it's not like it's got a thick club. Because, you know, held items aren't a thing yet. Oh! See ya! Interesting. There's still garbage, though. Either way you slice it. What kind of names are these? Dudio? <laughs> oh god. Uh, let's go with Dick Mole, Draco, and Egraso. Raises defense high enough to matter? Yes, it will! Holy shit! Metronome to a move that it could potentially already have. Well, the, uh... Well, the Prime Cup rentals seem make sense to be different because you know these rentals are level 100 gym leader castle and poke cup are uh, level 50 for rentals Offensive moves are actually decent. What are they, like uh, Bubble Beam and Thunderbolt or something? Okay, I guess um, Reflect is a permanent defense boost to the active Pokemon. is a reflect metronome strategy. Slash and bubble beam. Eh, I'd rather have Thunderbolt or Ice Beam instead of Slash because Slash is garbage. Dudio! Geodude needs reflect, does it? Whoa, what? Metronome Solar Beam? What the fuck is this? This is a joke. 
Dude, this is exactly why I didn't want to do round one. Shit's too easy. It's a guaranteed crit, but it doesn't do much damage. Let's go with Gem. Just because it hits everything super effectively. And let's go Glorung and Draco. That is a very pink Nidoran female. Pink and very squishy. Oh, we're taking on the acts out of order. Ooh, it survived. Waterfall was a signature move. Well, at least he picked them in order. Four, five, six. But this fight is still a fucking joke. that an attack? I could probably kill with Surf at this range. Not gonna risk it though, because the damage calculation in Gen 1 seems a little janky. Gen 1, it kind of could. Gen 2 and forward, not so much. Pikachu, yeah, why would you ever use it competitively? Because literally before its stat buff in Gen 6, an unboosted Salamence could kill it with Scratch. With fucking Scratch. And that poison doesn't bother me at all. Quite frankly. Now, if he were to somehow put leech seed on me, then yeah, I'd be freaking out a little bit. Because leech seed and toxic use the same counter and actually gets a fucking plus plus to the count when both of them tick. Dishoed! 
Who names these Pokemon? Because whoever they are needs a fucking lobotomy or something. Oh, wow, I'm gonna take some tick damage from poison. A whole 12. Oh, don't you fucking dare! You cockhead. Please, while its evasion's low, kill it, Glorung. Please? Thank you! Oh, God, this is just gonna turn into another fucking battle against Blaine again. Fitting or unfittingly enough, also a grass type. Ugh. Fuck you, lab man. Asshole. Get out of here with that fucking double team shit. Kind of weighting my team pretty heavily toward those two that aren't taken out by Glorung. That's nah, not bad. Thunder Wave's obnoxious, though. Thunderbolt's gonna hurt a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yep, gotta switch. Send a Nick Drazel. Definitely get into uh, kill range from here. Well, oh, it is in kill range with either of my attacks. So let's see how it looks a Razor Leaf. I wish my Charizard was still healthy. The only thing I can hit this thing with is Body Slam. Ah, respectable damage at least. Well, if he's gonna be doing that, then fuck it, I'll send my Charizard back. At least I don't have to worry about a rock or electric move. Since this isn't Fi's randomizer, I don't have to worry about fucking Water Pulse. And the fact that Water Pulse doesn't exist yet. Oh! Great! Thanks! Come on, Glorung. Thank you! Sending Draco back out. Yeah, it's not like I have to worry about a surf or anything. Yeah, that bounced right off. Oh! But I do have to worry about Ice Beam! <laughs> I guess not! What? 
Drizzle, do you, do you need glasses, buddy? I mean, yeah, I get you're cold, but that doesn't mean you can't fucking aim. You dingus. See ya, wagons. What kind of name is that? Seriously. Six. Holy shit. Didn't realize we were that far in. Okay, Articuno out of nowhere. Uh, Gem Draco. I mean, Gem Zappy and, um. Shit, who else can I use? I guess Draco because of Ice Beam. If, if he doesn't use his fucking Articuno, I'm going to be disappointed. Because why bring one good Pokemon into the fucking Pokeball if you're not going to use it? There we go! Good to see you're not completely retarded. And, oh wow. I was about to taunt that it didn't do you any good. And it didn't! Wow! Bet you feel stupid. Really out of place, Articuno. Followed by a fucking Pidgey. Are you kidding me? Wow. Are you proud of 33 damage right before you die? I wouldn't be. Oh, wow, you're going to survive to do another 20 damage. I'm going to lose this fight, so we might as well get some damage. Oh, wow. Maybe they should taunt the opponents a little more. Maybe they'll actually do some fucking damage. This does not feel like round two. Seriously, it does not feel like round two. this garbage, and then suddenly fucking Articuno in round seven, back to garbage for the finale. That is one right ass coughing. Maybe it was bleeding before I hit it. <laughs> I do have that. Yeah, I do. Zappy's not gonna like to take a surf, but I don't have, don't have much choice. Oh, 
Oh wow, he took that a lot better than I figured he would. 75 damage is pathetic. Oh wow. I'm two for two on a critical hit. Alright, what's your last Pokemon, loser? Ditto. I'm gonna make this guy's life a living hell. Transform into Glorong. Then I'm gonna switch into Draco. Flamethrowers resisted. Submissions resisted. Yeah, the only thing he can hit me with is fly. Granted, the only thing I can really hit him with is Hyper Beam. But I take that fucking fly with just right on the chin. Unless we're speed tied, which I highly doubt. I'm gonna waste the turn there. And I'm going to take the fact that I'm slower to my advantage. Oh, oh well, he's going to survive. He's going to use fly again. I'm going to recharge. And then I'm probably going to... Hmm, probably going to go for an ice beam. Because I'm not going to risk a second Hyper Beam. Ice Beam ought to hit pretty hard. Neutral damage. Unless this is before they decided to make uh, fire resistant to ice. the second This is very similar to his round one. What the fuck? This is incredibly similar to round one. Like, alarmingly. Hmm. Wow, he saw it right through me. Good job, you dingus. With portal. Yeah, but I just I don't know, it's to be expected that a round one's gonna be easy, you know. 
Because a lot of people will just enter tournaments with garbage saying, Oh yeah, I'm gonna totally win. <laughs> you know, at least it's an authentic experience. It's like the dude that enters a freaking high level fucking magic tournament with a commons and uncommons weenie deck. Not saying I've done that before, because I totally have. You know. But, you know, you get stupid garbage like this. With Kukuna. What's the worst it's gonna do? String shot? Yeah, I'm not scared. And even if it goes for the Harden, it doesn't fucking matter. Oh, Poison Sting. Ooh. Ten damage. Just look at Glorung. He's just so scared he's roaring. Not totally unexpected. See ya. No shame in sending Gem in here. At least until the difficulty cranks, I'm gonna try to refrain from using my Starmie. Because it just gives me too much of an unfair advantage. Against these completely pedestrian fucking enemies. Is it just me or is the critical hit rate? The critical. The critical hit rate was just way too fucking high. Because I'm just railing them. Just fucking left and right. Does energy strategy even fucking work? Like, his entire team is based on fucking focus energy first turn and you go for critical hits next. I mean, it's not like there are abilities and held items yet. You know, where starting in, I believe, fourth gen when Sniper became a thing? Fucking focus energy zoom lens and. Sniper meant a guaranteed critical hit with, like, most moves. And even then, you didn't build your entire fucking team around a single goddamn combo. combo does not a, t a party make. Oh wow, Kingler. We're actually seeing some evolved Pokemon now. Rina Nito? What the fuck kind of name is that? Oh yeah, Sniper was in, um... Okay. Well, either way, hey, you know, Sniper still does extra damage. Glorkin. These nicknames kind of make me uncomfortable. Not gonna lie. Uh, let's go Idrasil. Zapping Glorun. Thank you. 
Really? What? Oh, now I'm regretting not bringing in Gem. Because this is horseshit. Oh, now he's switching. Probably to his fucking Diglett. Fucking called it! The attack missed. Not the attack was fucking, you know, nullified. It missed. What? I don't stand a chance in this fight now! I don't stand a fucking chance! I lost because of RNG bullshit on the first fucking turn! I just fucking lost. There's no way Zappy is going to win this fight for me. There is no way in hell. If he does, I'll be fucking surprised. Yep, there's no way I'm gonna kill Lickitung. Cause it's gonna be a three hit kill to get with Thunderbolt. And Body Slam's gonna paralyze me. Fucking called it! You were saying... Because remember, one hit KO was, uh... Based on speed in Gen 1. So yeah, at this point, if I win, it's because of luck. Because it's a 50-50 on fucking Fissure hitting me now. Yeah, it checks modified speed, and my speed is cut in half right now. Look at that! I lost the fucking fight! That was bullshit! Because I was like, oh, I don't want to use my fucking ace in a hold. Nope, now I'm leading with the fucker. He is not going to beat me this time. I can guarantee fucking tea it.
Oh look, he knew I was using Psyche, so he didn't switch. You watch. I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt now. Oh wow, he didn't fucking switch. He must not be using Diglett this time. Yeah, you think you're so cute, don't you? Is he using the same three as last time? So far, it's looking it. When I don't use gem, I get a fucking fair fight. But And when I do, I just fucking roll him. No, he's not using the same three. for a guillotine. Oh, wonderful, thank you. Okay, so pick more gold on. Okay, I guess dick more's coming out then. And of course he gets the poison. Because why wouldn't he get the fucking poison? First time, Dick Mole. Seriously, man, you're dropping the ball. And back to the world tree. What's that? 33 damage? That's what I thought. You did not 
build your team well. Wow, am I fighting a Team Rocket member or Brock? Oh, nice. Good job, Draco. Hmm. The exact reason why I'm using my dragon. Though he has a distinct advantage. He's only two times weak to ice. I'm weak to it twice for four times damage. Great. Oh, it's gonna be this garbage. Oh, no. Never mind. The critical hit that didn't matter. Noticing a trend. It's Taponi. Fuck it. What's the worst that can happen with Hyper Beam? I mean, I can miss. Somehow still standing. It's not gonna get three critical hits in a row. Mm. I should be able to kill with uh, wing attack at this range. Unless, of course, fully... Oh, no! I was about to say, unless, of course, fully paralyzed. See ya! Draco doing work. Did we attack get a power boost from, from Gen 1 to Gen 2? Because this is... just underwhelming. Looks like a job for Gorong and Zappy at least. Oh, let's send in Dickmo. Fuck it.
Yeah, I knew it was 60, but I just couldn't remember what it was in uh, Gen 1. I'm wasting a uh, fucking move slot on Draco. Let's see if he switches. No. The seizure is going to come back out afterward. As one would expect. And the seizure might cause me some uh, headaches. The only way I can deal with it is Zappy, and he's paralyzed. I don't think he has anything else that resists the electricity, so... To sacrifice Zappy just because I need to get a free switch. I love the critical hits that are all that happen on a fucking critical health Pokemon. You know, the extra damage doesn't fucking matter. I think Dick Mole has uh, speed advantage here. Should've went for the Gorun. God damn it. It doesn't matter though. Not getting critic not getting continue anyway. Oh boy, pedal dance. I should took that better than I figured it would. Sounds like a fucking goat. Seriously, that fucking cry. It's a nice thing about having an, you know, a properly balanced team. It's not hard to, you know, pull in revenge kills. Even when you're only using half your party. Oh, 
Oh, another fucking bird. And two distinctly not fucking right types. Okay, I'm using gem. Wrong and dick mole. Not really a whole lot he can use that's uh not gonna get wrecked. <laughs> space bear. <laughs> Thanks, space bear. <laughs> Kill it, making the slap dash. Ho ho! I'm not gonna get it continue for this because I'm not gonna kill it with surf. And, oh damn, it took that really well. Holy shit. Alright, maybe I made a bad choice on my uh, two and three. Bringing Dick Mole into a fight against a fucking bird keeper is a terrible idea. But whatever, what's the worst this thing's gonna do to me now? Drill pack? max damage and that's gonna be a three hit kill. Which may be what I need. Yep, three hit kill. Good deal. Good job, Dick Mole. You just won the semifinal for us. Oh shit! That was always number two. What the hell? What was what am I thinking? Venom Mash! I should be able to do some uh, pretty respectable damage here with Earthquake. Don't expect to get the kill, but whatever. Uh, that kind of gets rid of the. Uh, The uncertainty on will flamethrower kill. Oh, wow. I should pretty much expect a kill when I see critical hit. Because it usually comes up when the fucking critical hit doesn't matter. I think there's only been two times where a critical hit's been survived. Gee, I wonder who the Earth Badge is. I wonder if it's Cool Trainer Man. What do you know? Zappy, Gorong, and Dickmo. This is gonna be another time where I regret using someone that's not fucking gem, am I? That was a pretty 
leafy thud when Raichu hit the floor. <laughs> Fuck me! <sighs> Switching to Glorong is pretty much a necessity now. I just can't get over the doof when, uh... Fucking <laughs> right, you hits the ground. Really? Fuck your couch, asshole. Definitely regretting not bringing Gem. Oh, well, yeah, I'm getting a real fight out of this. At least we know what his three are. Huh? I hope this doesn't do enough to kill. And it did! Great, I'm fucked. Probably should have went for sub instead of the fucking slash. It's a little late now, though. Great. It's a four hit kill. Dickmole. Oh, I survived with one HP. Good job, buddy. There's a possibility I'm gonna pull this out after all. It's three to one, but... Do it. The possibility is there. Because all both of them that are left are actually softened by now. Raichu actually might be the biggest problem. If only for its speed. Never mind. If I'm hit with Toxic, then he can't hit me with Thunder Wave. So that actually works to my advantage a little bit. Though he may just be thinking cocky enough that, uh, Thunder's gonna be enough to kill me. We're... I'm not gonna lie, there's a high possibility of that because I am missing 100 HP. 
Come on, Gorong, pull this through for me, buddy. Yes! That's what I'm talking about! Good job, Gorong! And who says Charizard sucks? <laughs> Somewhat respectable team this time. Hmm. I actually have to plan this. Gem, Gorong, and Dekmo. Mega Charizard X is, uh, banned in fucking... Fire Monotype and Boris, I know that. Probably over the, um, fucking, uh, confusion over whether it's legal for Dragon Monotype or not. Because I've actually looked for a uh, suspect test on Google and I can't see it. Anyway, so if somebody has a reason for Charizard being banned in Monotype in Oris, please let me know. Because I don't like Mega Charizard Y. I'd much rather use a different Mega. Actually, kind of curious. Does it is a uh, fucking Mega Gyarados allowed in Mono Flying? Because it becomes Water Dark. Hmm. It's actually something to think about. Yeah, bringing Gem into this still feels like a fucking cop-out. the attack missed is this game's way of saying, hey, immunity. And a critical hit that didn't matter. Good job, Gorung. You're really good at hitting those fucking weak spots when they don't matter. I mean, I suppose we could just hop on, um... Showdown to find out. Mm. I'm gonna resist the urge to use gem. Because, you know, used them last fight and it was a fucking just well, it was a total wash for the opponent.
literally because of surf. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense when, you know, you say electricity on ground. Oh wow, Earthquake was a three hit kill? Oh god. did anything. Let's get Zappy in here. Mainly because he's my only one of the two left that, you know, isn't going to get wrecked by the fact that it's a water type. Thunderbolt is still my best choice here. Yeah, I don't think Machamp's gonna be able to do a whole lot to zap me. Truth be told. Earthquake. I should be able to survive that, though, yeah. takes care of the star you and slowpoke. Kinda gets walled by everything else. Fuck it. Let's go with Dick Mole, just because it takes care of the psychic types a little more easily. And Draco. Yeah, it's actually probably my worst combination that I could have used. Don't be doing this or shit. Fucking flash abuse. Oh, I'll be using gem. 
in the master plan. It won't be my lead, but it'll be on all eight fucking parties. I'm guaranteeing that now. I'm used not as a lead, as my women are. Minus two accuracy, so I don't know if I should still be in this fight. It wasn't terrible. Oh, fuck you! to evasion. Plus three! Fan-fucking-tastic! What?! Why would you do that?! Oh, because the only thing I can hit this thing with is fucking hyperbeam. I can hit it with wing attack, I guess, but... <sighs> nice! In before flash. Well, it was gonna try for hyper beam, but, uh... Let's go back into Zappy. Ha! Take that, dickhead. My accuracy being way it should be, I should be able to get more hits with pin missile. Because it's supposed to be a battle of attrition. Zappy and Gem, just because I don't want to risk having a loss here. Mm -hmm. I see Cloister and immediately think, oh shit, explosion. I actually kind of like that face when it's asleep. That's kind of funny. Ha! 
doesn't matter. The sweep did what it needed to. Shit, literally about 75% of the way through the stream. Oh, wonderful. Fuck it, going into gem. Dracel has done a good job so far, so. Against him. Stadium 2 will be later. In the coming weeks and months. Because at this point, I've got to start fucking powering through DK64. Which, with my current work schedule, is looking like it's going to be hard to do. Because I'm working all six days, we're open next week. And I'm not wasting a turn to risk burn damage. To just hit it with a different four times super effective hit. right off the bat. You know, I think the only thing grass type that Exeggutor would get is fucking uh, Mega Drain. Oh boy. Chansey gets Reflect, doesn't it? That is gonna make that a nightmare. Executor have that good a special? Great. Yeah, I'm switching at first opportunity. Because the glitch with Toxic and Leech Seed is gross. Where was that critical hit last turn, asshole? You would have saved yourself from being fucking seeded. And I wouldn't have to retreat right now. Nah, Snorlax is a bad matchup for me anyway. Glitch is where the fucking toxic timer that makes the damage increase uh, affects leech seed, as well as the amount that it uh, affects the damage. So it's 
buying. Probably should have popped the sub in there. But, yeah, minus three evasion. Well, minus three accuracy ought to fuck it up enough to, uh, not matter. And if it bides again, I'm just gonna take its accuracy all the way down. Wow, the fucking accuracy drop didn't matter. Great. And from here, he's just gonna fucking rest. Let's get jam in here. It's gonna be hard to deal with him with that fucking poison on Gorong. I think it attacks based on smell. Motherfucker. You motherfucker. Oh, didn't use rest. That's actually what I was worried about. Great. Both of my Pokemon are left have a negative status ailment. Great! Wow! My fucking accuracy drop is finally doing something. At the point of being too fucking late. I was about to say, Jem's still in it. No, he's not. Jem's fucking dead. Thank you, Jem. And again, with the critical hits, it don't fucking matter! What's your number three, asshole? And Ansicha has fucking bubble beam. Oh boy. I don't stand a chance now. You know what? It's do or die anyway, so submission. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Yes, but submission also has recoil. Great. 
Honestly, I almost won. So I'm going to use the same three. Nice. Critical hits ignore stat boosts, so... Well, they're supposed to. it again and uh should be in the clear nope straight for the body slams great be the end of me. It does have minus one accuracy, so... use Confuse Ray. When, you know, having four different attack types is a lot more useful. that a crit will fucking matter! Nope! The crit had to happen for the fucking enemy! Fuck you! In case you're having a bad time and uh, need to recalculate what you're using. Oh look, there's the critical hit that really should have happened to fucking Surf! I don't like anyway, so might as well go for fucking submission. And I 
swear to God, if this fucking freezes me. You're fucking kidding me, right? Just finish me off, asshole. Ten percent, like every other fucking ice attack! No, it's ten. Every single fucking ice attack that has a chance to freeze is a 10% fucking chance! And it's really fucking hard to deal with normal types in this game. Putting Dracil in this time. So the star the battle starts with me at a major disadvantage. Well, at least I knew that the Dracil survived. What's the fucking point? Great. The fight's already starting at a huge disadvantage. Venusaur on this party. Every time that I've used it, it has gotten fucked over every fucking time. Most of the stuff you'll find in that area isn't affected by being frozen. And I'm gonna lose to a fucking Alakazam because there's nothing I can do in response to it! Normal and Psychic are the hardest for this team to deal with. So what's this hat guy have? Nothing but fucking normal and psychic. And that even hit me on a resisted hit pretty hard. Oh look, the critical hit when it was gonna kill anyway. I swear, that's just programmed into the game. Oh, the attack's gonna kill? Oh, it's a critical hit! <laughs> it tanked two of them! This is why there's a run command in there, Lore.
Now I remember why I hate round two. That's why I have a submission on here, because it's the only good move that was learnable by more than one Pokemon. This is literally my last try before I have to redo the entire fucking tournament. Please, Yggdrasil. Redeem yourself. Thank you. Psychic had zero weaknesses. Technically, the only two moves that did super effective damage to it were Pin Missile and Twin Needle, which were useless. Stay asleep long enough for me to seed you. No, but, you know, no matter who you ask, Gen 1 was fucking perfect. Fuck this normal balance shit. <laughs> Seriously, all the Gen 1ers just need to realize Gen 1 fucking sucked. It was garbage. But this is how I'm gonna be dealing with the fucking Snorlax. Put it to sleep and let Leech Seed do it. Because there's no other way to fucking do it. What is with this first turn wake garbage? And now I'm gonna eat a fucking body slam. And be paralyzed. Because of course I will be. Don't cheer, Snorlax. Are you proud of yourself? don't remember the rules on... Fuck you. Great. This fight's over. Well, at least the Drazel can't be fucking frozen. Arbitrary bullshit is that? <sighs> yep, this fight's over. This fight's fucking over. There's no way Gem's gonna be able to take out both of these. There's no way in hell. Because that thing's got Thunderbolt. But 
conversion actually works in my favor. If I can win at this point, I'm going to be surprised. Because Body Slam's coming my way, Gem's going to be paralyzed, I'm going to be para fully paralyzed for the entire fucking fight. Because the conversion... Oh shit, no, conversion's not actually explained. None of the moves are explained. The way conversion works in Gen 1 is it switches types to the target. So he used conversion to become water psychic. That only took four fucking tries! Now I have no fucking wiggle room for the fucking last three fights. <laughs> Fuck it, leading gem. I don't even care. Lorung. And Draco, because Draco's got fire moves. He's got flamethrower. I don't even fucking care. Maybe I should fucking care. Because the one electric type he has on his team, he led it with it. Great. Or I guess I should say she, because it is like the only female fucking trainer class. Aside from Lass and the female gym leaders. Wow, the one critical hit I get that doesn't kill, and it doesn't fucking matter, because it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Are you going to get another critical hit that's going to turn into me being fully paralyzed? Because that's only a 3% chance of happening, right? Pink font means illegal moves. Technically, in Gen 1, Dragonite should not have Wing Attack or Flamethrower. And the fact he's got Wing Attack is a waste of a move slot, because I forgot that Wing Attack is weaker in Gen 1. Well, I'm already inflicted with a status ailment, so he's probably going to go straight for the uh, Petal Dance. So Gorung should be safe to switch in now. or anything that's outright illegally placed on the Pokemon. Because I could give Surf to Glorong and it will show up as pink. Well, it'll even go pink if the move is valid, just invalid for your level. Like if you've got, um, good example was uh, Glorung in the Pika Cup. 
had a pink flamethrower because he doesn't learn until level 30. Or actually not at all, given the uh, retarded learn rules of Gen 1. Not true. But given my uh, Pika Cup sets, I might as well have been. <laughs> well, I'm at least getting one continue back for the semifinals. know why I lampshade it every fucking time. Surprising no one. Zappy hits everything because everything's weak. Everything except for Haunter is weak to electricity. Glurung takes care of Haunter and Gem because why the fuck not? Indeed. Uh, Actually, he did a lot more damage considering the fact that um, Zappy's not weak to fire. I should have kept the uh, Jolteon in in case of hypnosis. Continues to take on the finals, but because I get the feeling I'm gonna need them. Gem, Dick Mole, and oh shit! Uh, Dracel's not gonna be useful at all. Gorong, me. 
maybe. Well, let's go with Draco. Nope. Not dealing with the electrode. I should have went for Slash. You know what? I'm gonna make this into a fucking revolving door battle. Now you've pissed me off. Let's go for... Psychic. That helps. Oh, wow. Switch. But that special drop may have been exactly what I needed to get that kill. And is the Electro Store coming back in? Pretty sure he is. Road Store. Whatever. Though I don't think Ash technically caught that. It just decided to tag along with him. So it's not like he could say, yeah, I know you're coming with me. You gonna switch again, asshole? No, you're just gonna go boom. What's your number three? Gengar. Uh, who outspeeds who? Oh, cool. Okay, I was about to say that's... That was a fucking... Disappointment. Almost. Right. And before critical hit. Oh, wow, it wasn't. Yeah, I think Lab Man should have been number eight. Shameless using gem from here on. I don't care. I'm 
gonna need the power. If round five was any indication, Battle 5, I should say. Whatever, you know what I mean. Fira survived? The thing is, I kind of remember beating this. I don't have my original cartridge anymore, but I do remember beating Round 2 Prime. With rentals! I'm using the most bullshit of the bull. Shit. Granted, my team is probably not the greatest, but still. I mean, there's probably something better out there. Instead of the shit that I'm using. I mean, yeah, I could be using Mewtwo, but, you know, that's cheating. What am I trying to accomplish, idiot? Because I think Quick Attack only had, like, a power of fucking 20 in Gen 1. Oh, he's got positive priority. Might as well make it a piece of shit. <laughs> Why am I going into Dick Mole? I'm gonna eat a fucking blizzard. And I don't mean from Dairy Queen. Yeah, that was bad switch, central. That's probably better, the better choice. Yeah, Zappy would have been a much better choice. Shit. He actually, you know, tanked that pretty well. He took the second one even better, holy shit. Bad start. Maybe I should have just gave myself a YouTube. Hmm. Before switch the Vaporeon. Oh wow. Didn't happen. Flareon has had the highest non legendary physical attack since he was created. Of a fire type, I should say. Did it get any support for it? No. Not until recently when it gets flare blitz. He 
He's not using the Eevee Trio, is he? I mean, I know he has them, but... Jolteon tank the fucking earthquake. Fantastic. Might as well just fucking chalk this up to another continuum not getting. Fucking sent Dickmo in thinking that he was gonna kill it. Don't you, you motherfucker! Gem can take whatever the fucking third Pokemon is. Because Gorong's dead. There's nothing he can do now. Great. Gorong would have been useful here. Apparently. Well. this tournament. Okay, I was about to say, if that fucking hit, I was just gonna fucking rage quit. Knight Drago. It's got horn drill. Ashra. It's 
names. Just ugh. Oh wow. Critical hit that probably did matter. And I finally get to continue. Gem's my only guarantee here. It actually hits every single one of his Pokemon with super effective damage. Zappy's bad because of two ground types. Dickmo is bad because of two water types. But it does hit half of his team super effectively. Let's go with Dickmo and Idriso. But if they get through Gem, I'm probably fucked anyway. Probably going to the Vaporeon. I might as well just fucking forfeit. Because I'm going to get nothing but fucking full paired now. I fucking call it. Well, at least I have speed advantage again. First to be fully paralyzed? No. Thank you for working in my favor for once, game. Now that it matters... That the golem's probably gonna explode now. Well, at least Yggdrasa was a good choice. Golem can't explode now. took a lot of damage. Holy shit. No, I purposely let Glorung out of this fight. Now, I think paralysis rules change, too. As the, uh... took neutral because of poison typing. Would have resisted it otherwise. 
Oh boy, time for the fight that's gonna fuck me over! Gem. Thinking a Dracil and Draco. If the Ditto comes out, I'll switch to a Dracil and then I'll switch to Draco. doesn't have other shit up his sleeves. Oh wow, barrier. Too bad I'm hitting your special, idiot. Answers to his my answer to his ditto. Oh, Ditto's not even in this fight. seeing through it. Oh, wow. Tank that really well. Holy shit. PP ups on a 30 PP move. It's completely legit. Of course. Now to switch into Dracil. Because Draco is pretty much worthless at this point. And I want to get my continue. Because I know the final is going to suck. This 
reasonably far be enough to kill. And let's switch back to Gem. Because I know Gem is going to be able to kill, to kill the tentacle, but eh, I'm fucking I might as well see what Razor Leaf can do. Hydro Bomb's not gonna do shit. Huh! Of course it isn't. Alright, good job, Big Dracel. You're finally putting in some fucking work. Gem did surprisingly little in this way. Yggdrasil did most of the work. Good job. Oh, what the fuck? This is bullshit. Stay asleep this time. Thank you. Rick. I am not above bullshit at this point. That's two turn, two first turn wakes. Three. What the fuck? I think they took, uh, Sleep's odd of, odds of waking up quickly and, uh, gave it to Freeze in future generations. Because in Gen 1, Freeze was a death sentence. That was probably a really bullshit way to deal with that Snorlax, but whatever, it worked. Dang, that 
still hurts a lot. 65 damage. Two damage the first time. Yeah, Reflect's not going to help you with the uh, special attacker as your opponent. Doof McGoof. In fact, I believe that is um, you know, dirt nap time. See ya, fucker. Well, this should be easy enough to deal with. Electrode literally has nothing but normal and electric moves. It was smooth sailing till you got here. I'm not saying you were bad luck, but you know, you came right in time for shit to get hairy. Except for, you know, the end of the Pika Cup where, uh, I discovered that Dragon Rage and Sonic Boom are not actually banned from that tournament. because I've got my electric attacks. Um, and Draco because he's got ice. Job gem. All right, that crit did matter. Cause without it, it wasn't killed. I think I'm still faster than Aerodactyl. No. Why would you do that, you idiot? I'm just gonna switch into my Jolteon, save my fucking Stormy, and take half damage, idiot. Never mind, I took normal damage anyway. Was it worth it, buddy? Was it worth it? And to think if you used any other fucking move, you would have gotten the kill. Hmm. 
Let's see if Zappy's strong enough to survive this. Yes, he is. All right. Man. Ha. Maybe. But that was actually a good fight, surprisingly. A little fuckery on my side, but... Hey, I'm gonna need everything I can get against fucking dickweed. Let's hope I don't need these five continues. Because, um... See that Mew? Yeah! Mew is impossible to predict. Let's see. Gem... Gorong... and Dickmo. Very fitting music here. What you do, buddy? And before Muster, fucking called it. Which means it either has Surf or Blizzard. And I get a, <laughs> and I've got a well-placed critical hit. Good job, Dickmo. didn't stand a fucking chance. Damn. Oh boy. Oh boy. This guy is straight up bullshit in the fucking Master Ball round. Oh, nice! Good job, Gem! Good job. He must not have Thunder Wave. Nope, instead he's got recovers. Bitch. Well, all I gotta hope for is, uh, f uh fully paralysis. No, switching! Holy shit! if he switches or not. Well, this game is supposed to be a, you know, metagame simulation, so the AI's got to be a little bit more, yeah, a little bit more robust. All right. Now it's just your stormy, asshole. I'm 
gonna have to hit it with something soft. So I don't kick into, uh... It's use of recover. NEVER FUCKING MIND! Huh. I guess it ultimately didn't matter anyway. And there we go! Prime Cup done! kind of lackluster. I had a harder time with the fucking fifth round of Ultra Ball. What the fuck? I just, I don't know, I kind of want to keep going. Let's do the petite cup real quick and then call it done. This is a drastically different team from my normal one. So I've got Zonk with Psychic Recover, Thunder Wave, and Metronome. Recover is technically illegal, but I don't care. Hillix, the Omanyte, because everyone's gonna fucking come in with Twitch Blades Pokemon jokes anyway. Surf, Ice Beam, Mimic, Toxic. Dirt Ball with, of course, my Doug Trio set. Yoshi with pretty close to my Venusaur set. Fluffy with Body Slam, Swift, Sand Attack, Toxic, and Shenron with... Oh shit, that's my old Dragonite set. This is gonna be garbage. But uh, let's go with Zonk, Helix, and Dirt Ball here. Great. This is literally the worst fucking team I could have picked because of that execute. No, I never bothered. Because that shit's crazy. Oh wow, super effective for 9 damage. Come on, Zonk, pull out the good stuff. That's not the good stuff, you idiot! Rage, oh God. Great. Yep. Nicknames did uh, mess with the palettes, though.
Wow, your attack raised. And it doesn't matter because your attack still sucks. Wow, a critical hit of 12 damage. Actually, no, less than that. Thank you! Got me out of that shitty attack. Helix has a fucking ice beam. Let's hope so. Oh boy. That was a respectable hit. But too bad the Hillix is dead now. Oh wow, he survived. Called me surprised. Yeah, this is like the worst team I could have picked for this fight. Oh, wow, nice. Good job, Helix. team would be the hardest to deal with if Ditto came in. I think I might do Zonk, Helix, and Fluffy. that I actually have an opponent I can hit with it. here. So the Fluffy gets transformed, and then let's go into Hillix because Hillix can resist everything Fluffy can throw at him. It's a little underhanded, but whatever, I don't care. Did was a piece of shit. I forgot about Sand Attack being on my list. Oh, well, 
let's go for toxic. There we go. Now I don't care about my accuracy being dropped. Mm. There's nothing really worth mimicking off of. Uh, This is probably a bad idea. But it only has 20 PP in total, so... Switch back to Hillix so I can get my accuracy back. Oh, the switch! Fuck it, Abra's going back out. Because I should be able to get a nice clean kill with... And then the Ditto's coming back out. So... This is going to be a revolving door here for a little bit. Shit. Did it using my stats against me is kind of scary. And Hillix is going to go back out just because Ditto can't do any damage to me. And the residual is just going to keep piling up. And he doesn't have any choice but to uh, take it. underhanded, but hey, it gets the job done. You know you have a good team built when you have a hard time countering yourself. Because that's exactly what Ditto is. need that continue. Oh, 
Oh, come on! This is obnoxious. Don't you dare get a first turn wake again, you piece of shit! as we can. So if we can get all the way to plus six, that'd be great. Nope, plus four. That's gonna have to do. Oh, man! If only... Bounced off. See you, Needle War. reason to not use Body Slam again. And yeah, I, it's just been a lot of freaking use it and either miss or get a first turn wake and wow. Yoshi, you are a fucking tank, buddy. See ya, Rattalore. Depending on who this is. Hmm. I think Body Slam is going to do more damage than Razor Leaf. drop that's going to come here, I'm going to have to switch. So let's get Zonk in here. Well, I don't think this thing's going to do anything else. Sleep is sleep, though. It's not the fault of sleep power. It's the fault of the shitty sleep mechanic. Zonk, Dirtball, and Yoshi. Oh wow, and I picked the right lead. Didn't expect that. Not getting my continue for this fight. Great.
Cup is halfway done now, so. Let's see. Zone kill against and Yoshi is the best bet here. It's a shame Star used illegal in this tournament. It's too heavy. Except, of course, the ones that couldn't learn it. Seismic Toss is actually kind of good in this tournament. Especially if you're using it on level 30. It's pretty much a guaranteed 3-hit kill. names. Oh, damn! I can say wrecked, can you? Yeah, zonk. Ha <laughs> ha! Gotten two special drops. Considering that that's only, like, what, a 10% chance? Pretty damn good. Ding, ding. That's not gonna do much. Uh, based, it does damage based on the user's level. And it ignores attack and defense, which is why it's so good to be used on Chansey nowadays. And Chansey's like one of the only Pokemon it's actually useful on. Because nothing else is quite pitiful on the offense. Yep. And Sonic Boom always did, always did 20. Let's see. Let's see. Dirt Ball, Yoshi... Is Shenron gonna be useful? Not really, because he's redundant with fucking Helix. That's what happens when I blindly follow smoking sets. I tend to not realize redundancy on my team. Of course you have Ice Beam! But of course Diglett's fucking made of steel, so... He can take just about anything you throw at him. 
And then dish more back at you. Magnemite's gonna be an easy kill. Cause what's Magnemite gonna do? Sonic Boom? Or, you know, die. <laughs> I'll also accept that as an answer. This is pretty much going to come down to speed here. Yep. Good job, Dirtball. Yeah, but the thing is, moves like that just break the difficulty. I'm trying to have as much fun with this as I can, even when it pisses me off. Let's see. Yoshi takes care of Kabuto and Diglett. Dirtball takes care of Pikachu and Vulpix. And I'm pretty much a sitting duck against either of the other two. Though it's either Caputo or the Eevee. So. Uh, Dirtball and Yoshi are both really good choices either way. And let's go with Helix. I made the wrong choice. Well, at least I don't have to worry about the Eevee ever coming in because of the uh, level in it. I have a feeling Vulpix is coming in. Yep. Damn. That sucked a little bit. But let's hand in Helix. I went for level 26 on everyone, so I never had to worry about, you know, hitting the level limit. And the same goes for the uh, Pika Cup that we did earlier and the Poke Cup that we uh, will be doing next time, because I do not have time for it tonight. You know, I'm not worried about taking dig damage. Because even with a critical hit, I just took that on the chin. Alright, who's coming in response? I don't know if he has a response to Yoshi now. The damage is piling up, though. Of course he has an answer to Bulbasaur. 
But does Bulbasaur give a shit? No. I'm just gonna let this fight go as it may. I don't think Hillix has anything to worry about against a Meowth. Unless he's got Thunderbolt. Which is entirely possible. Fucking A. Oh, good job, Hillix. All right. Gonna get a nice hit in. And then our buddy Dirtball is gonna clean up. finish this. I think I still have, what, five continues? So even if I eat shit in the, fi the final battle, I can still, you know, get a couple tries. Four. Either way, should be fine. Okay. Looks like a job for Yoshi, Dirtball, and Hillix. If by a ton you mean like three of them. Test the waters here. Yep, I'm gonna get a sub up. Talking much because I like this music. Send Yoshi in. If only because Yoshi can easily deal with this thing. Explain 
was where the other two were over 25. But then again, I wasn't looking at his levels in there. On the party select. Send Dirtball in because maybe Dirtball will be able to do something. What? Did he really just do that? That was his last Pokemon! You just handed me victory, you idiot! Good job! That was retarded. Fucking dingus. Oh, but I'm glad I got that on camera. That was fantastic. Even if there wasn't a rule on that, that was his third Pokemon and he still had all three of mine. Using the explosion at that point was pointless. Here we go. And with that, I did actually more than I was expecting to tonight. So, uh... I think that'll do it for now. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to stream next because of my weird work schedule and I'm not going to be streaming on Thanksgiving Day because you people should be with your families and not watching me scream in a Pokemon game. But, yep, that'll do her. Thanks for coming, guys.